Greetings and welcome back to the channel. My name is Henry, aka Old Dude on Steam and on Discord, and we are here tonight to do. Well, we're not playing anything actually. I've gotten a couple of requests on how to install the Seven Days to Die Ravenhurst mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you really quick. It's really not that difficult. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the original website for this, and I'll show you what I mean. So basically, what you're going to do is the easiest way to do this is by using the seven days to die mod launcher and i'll show you what that looks like right here real quick this is what it looks like version five that's the current version that i'm using and this will install you can customize this however you like you can pick the location on your hard drive where you want to install it you can pick um the latest versions you can you can back scale you can do whatever you want plus there's also a whole list of other mods that you can install from here using alpha 21 and as far back as as you can see alpha 16 so your your choices are very 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 optimal when you do things this way there are a couple ways to install mods in seven days to die but this is the one that i find to be the easiest for my dumb ass so now i do have a potty mouth just so you know uh, i'm going to try to tone it down a little bit because tonight is not about my potty mouth or anything like that this is just about me um, showing you guys how to do this so all the mods are listed here for the alpha version that you want to play so just pick your alpha version and go from there and anytime you're going to install a large mod after you've installed it make sure you hit the pre-sync button to get to to get the latest up-to-date copy of it so what we do then is we go to our fine feathered Google and we type in seven days to die mod launch you can see it's right there you can also see a path of exile blah 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 um, type in seven days to die mod launcher now these first two links do not work and I will show you this is the first one this was the original mod launcher link does not work now the second one down here the seven days seven days to die dot net this works kinda and here's what will happen you go to that and then bang it instantly kicks you to another download site do not do not click on anything there because I don't know if you're going to get a virus, something dirty on your computer, something dirty on your computer. So click on this. This takes you to the seven days to die forms. And this is the one that actually works. Seven days to die launcher dot org. Click on that link and it brings you here. Now, this is the download page for the seven days to die mod launcher. This is what I suggest you use. You download this like you would any other program and you can even get legacies. Okay, which are the older versions of it, which I do not recommend. Get the latest version of it. And you click for your Windows. And then it'll ask you where to where to save the file to install. And as you can see, it's the Launcher V5 right here. I already have it, so I'm not going to re-download it. But basically, once you download it and install it, the rest is pretty simple. You just bring up the mod launcher itself. You pick the mod that you want. And bingo, bango, bongo, Bob's your uncle. It really, really, really isn't that difficult to do once you've got the hang of it. The first time around can be a little tricky. Uh, the first time around with anything it can be pretty tricky when you're installing new mods on this. But once you've done it and you've got the hang of it, it's pretty simple. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to install a copy of your game. Well, you're not really going to, you're going to make a copy of your seven days to die folder. And it's going to ask, see how it says clone? You're going to clone it, pick the location that you want to clone. As you can see right here, I have a separate drive just for all my Steam games and everything. So, you know, it goes, it goes right to there. Alpha 21.1. Once you hit clone, then you can install the mod. And then down here is where the download will take place. And as you can see, it also has you on the latest version. This thing is fantastic. And like I said, get version five of this. Um, it's the latest version. It's the one that I'm using. It's the one our good buddy Norbert uses. We're, we're, we're all on the same page. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And that's really about it. I mean, it's not it's not terribly difficult. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Once you've got it figured out, it'll it'll be a breeze. And then once it's done, you know, you just you you once it's done downloading and installing everything, it's going to take a little bit depending on your connection. Mine's not terrible. Um it took me I'd say probably about a half hour to to download and install and get everything set up and tweaked and then once you're done, you just hit play. And it launches in a moment. It'll launch, I promise. There it goes. And bang, you're in. Uh, oh, I have the audio running through my, my speakers, not my headset this time around, so you're probably not going to hear anything. And then it'll kick in. Instead of going to the normal splash screen, which is obviously seven days to die, this is going to go to the actual Ravenhurst splash screens. <clears throat> there it is right there. 
And I've never actually shown this process before, um, and maybe I should have at some point, but nobody's really asked me how to install mods up until this version of Ravenhurst. So here we go. That's it. It's really, like I said, get the hang of it. It's simple, but the first time around might be a little difficult. Uh, I'm not big on tutorials or anything like that. I'm not right, like I'm, I'm a I'm a blabbermouth and a talker, but I'm not very good at teaching. So I hope I've covered everything as best as possible. You go to Google, go to the Seven Day Stuff forums. You click on the second link for it, the Mod Launcher dot org not the whole big long one and uh, i'll go over it one more time just to make sure that i'm straight that i've given you the proper information because i do not want to mislead anybody uh, i love this game i love the fact that people are wanting to get into ravenhurst <clears throat> and i hope it's due to my influence that people are wanting to get into this at least i hope that's why people are getting into it because I love the mod, I love the fact that it's up to, it's updated constantly. Like the mods that I play, uh, the communities are pretty active. The the developers are very active, um, and they just keep pumping out the content. See right here, Ravenhurst splash screen, and that's really about it. So it tells you the versions of everything up here. News obviously, blah blah blah. So we're gonna exit out of this, and I'm gonna go back and show you everything one more time. Okay, uh, once again. You Google it, it's usually, for me, it's the third link down. But you want to make sure you go to the 7days.com community because that's that's where I have found it. These two links, like you said, like I showed you, this one does not work. This one is chock full of possible viruses. And this one I found just by looking, just taking a little bit of time and looking. And then there it is right there. That's the whole thing. And, oh, Excuse me, actually, there's another tutorial right here on the website for it. So, you know, go to town. Coughing coming, please hold. So once you've got it downloaded, install it, check it out. Uh, give me some feedback. This is another way to do it. Uh, or, yeah. This is the page that you can get it from. And as you can see, it's, uh, you know what? I will put a link for this in the description. 7 days to die launcherorg That's it. Very simple. And then, like it's the latest version, V5, used yeah, with Unity, blah, blah, blah. But that's, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And uh, I hope I was able to help anybody that wanted this. is not going to be a very long video. Uh, I'm actually in the living room watching Hell's Kitchen with my wife tonight, but I saw this and felt I really should come and take care of this really quick because several people have asked how to, how to do this. So, yeah, we'll put a link in the description for the video. And uh, I hope this helps. Uh, so until next time, you know, get out there, get this downloaded and installed, play your game and have fun. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And until next time, play your game.